places are like totally separate. There's no connection to them. Oh. We've been at this house for 23 years now. So. Yeah, this is this is the master bedroom. some photos, but it, it's hard to capture all that. And I just did the tiling in here. This must be a meditation area. Does this come with any furnishings in it? No. No. no this okay. is all the card tenants. What the apartment does have, we have one furnace for the whole house. So we cover the heat. Oh, okay, which is a very good deal. I mean, we obviously we want people to be uh, reasonably conservative, but, you know, it's the, the place heats well. And there's no problem there. It's all a new heating system. So. Oh, um, and then Jewel was uh, concerned about the washer dryer, and I'm uh, I'm just totally researching. I'm I'm going to install it, but I, I what I haven't figured out is exactly where I'm going to do it. I, I have a, some cellar space, but I have to finish that if I do that. But there would be space down there, or if I had a place up here, but that might be a little bit more tricky. Yeah, that's definitely really important. Jewel's not going to. Yeah. I don't see her going anywhere that doesn't have one. Yeah. Cause it's something that we've always had. So. Yeah. I've never gone without it. And I don't think that either of us did so. Yeah. Unusual. Or are you? Are you the? Are you moving in as well? Or no, no she's no, moving in with her fiance. Okay. Their cat and dog. All right. All right. That would be where the wash dryer would That's be. one of the possibilities. 
I'd have to, I'm going to finish that off if I do that. Plumber was going to come last night to look at the different possibilities and didn't make it, so I'm not going to get him over So, do, do they have a washer and dryer, or is that? Because no. we, we do have an extra washer and dryer. She would need that. Well, she they're, coming, they're coming in what they can bring in a car and a truck, and that's it. Okay. Yeah. And um, she's had everything she owns on Craigslist. Oh, yeah. So. They are relocating. Yeah. But she told me she's going to be working at the Dover Police Department. Yeah. yeah. And their, her fiance is um, coming up this coming Friday. Tomorrow? Yeah. Tomorrow. tomorrow. And he's supposed to be checking in with um, York as a police officer. Oh, good. That's a, that's a nice town, too. She's got more guts than I. <laughs> <laughs> of course, when she moved out, that was the same thing. It's like, just what you could fit in her car. And, you know, she said, I'm going to go try. Check Colorado. Make it on my own. She did well. But now it's, you know, it's just a deal where she's now thinking that she needs to move back to the area. So, well, relatively speaking. Like I said, it's easier to drive up here than it is to go to Colorado. Sure. This is our yard. Um, what kind of mine is that? Oh, oh that's a, a, a really old um, honeysuckle, a trumpet honeysuckle. Trumpet. It took us the longest time to figure that out, but there's some old plants around this house that are probably as old as the house, 150-year-old well, plants. Yeah, because it's funny because, you know. You'll probably never see one like that. Yeah. And, and every now and then it, it kind of dies back, and I have to chop it way back. To the point that you almost think it would dry, and then it just comes back. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because a lot of times they get you know, different honeysuckles and stuff and just put over and, and you know, forget it. And <laughs> you wish you could chop them off, but they won't, they won't stay chopped. The barn's kind of our space there, you know, pretty much so. But um, yeah, we just have our, our stuff. We have a nice garden, but uh, you know, we just. Are you looking? Don't go as well as this one. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, yeah. I, I get my toes mixed up. You don't? Yeah. 